three, two, one. Here we go. Welcome to Lockdown Defenders. This is Coach Mike, and today we are breaking down one of the premier shot blockers. Yes, second team all defense and finals contender Robert Williams III and how he has anchored one of the best defenses in the NBA with his versatility and rim protection. Oh man, oh man, what a defensive play. In this defense. Wow. Before we get to those eye-catching blocks, one of the most impressive things to me about Time Lord's defense is his ability to switch onto and contain some elite players. And the technique he uses and has mastered to accomplish this is the cushion slide. This is a technique where you move backwards and laterally at the same time, trying to maintain a cushion on the attacker, sacrificing pressure for containment. Now think about this, by giving ground and cushioning, Williams can prevent those blow bys, and by always staying in front, he can be there to contest pull-ups or challenge at the rim. Now the key to this technique is to keep your hips square to the offensive player. The moment you drop your hips, you're giving an angle to attack. By staying square, you're also always in position to recover to step back pull-ups. And when in doubt, just keep backing up. Now this is a technique used by many great players. Kawhi Leonard, Iguodala, and even Gary Payton. But to see a center like Robert Williams execute it so well is what has made him so versatile. Now of course his height and wingspan makes his distance of impact to contest a shot very large. But it's also how Time Lord contests shots that make players shoot so poorly against him. Williams constantly challenges at the point of release of the shooter. And there's a huge difference between simply having a hand up and actually contesting at the point of release. Now you might be worried about leaving your feet to reach this point of contest, but Time Lord is so good at reacting when two hands go on the ball to time his jump. To me, this is one of the most undervalued techniques on the defensive end, and is a great time to mention the lockdown book, as this is just one of five techniques covered in the closeout section. To find out more, go to Amazon.com or check out the Lockdown Hoops website for clinics and much more. Now, back to the breakdown and the part we've all been waiting for, Time Lord's Rim Protection. Now, a lot of players think blocking shots is all about chasing the ball, when in fact it's more about patience and waiting for it to come to you especially as a rim protector. You can see most of Williams' blocks come when he's a foot or less away from the rim, similar to past Celtic defensive great Kevin Garnett. You can see it's all about blocking spots, and there's no spot more predictable than right at the front of the rim. And it's not about over-rotating, it's about getting to the rim and jumping vertically. And it does require patience and timing. One common mistake is stepping up to help on drives. You can see Gary Payton II does it in this play as he steps way above the level of his man to help on that dribble penetration. Whereas Time Lord lets the drive come to him. And this allows him to get hands onto dump off passes and also obviously protect the rim. And the Celtics coaching staff does a great job of putting him in position to constantly do this. Because even if he's guarding a perimeter player, it's one they feel comfortable rotating off of. And this is how Time Lord has helped the Celtics to one of the best defenses in the NBA. And a route to the NBA Finals. As always, I'm Coach Mike with Lockdown Defense. Keep up the hard work.